episode of Beer for Breakfast 2020. I am Danielle from 91X. I do mornings with Marty. As always, I have my beer drinking partner in crime with me, Paul Segura. I think that's Paul Segura. Brewmaster of Carl's Dress. Oh, What's it's up? Paul Segura, everybody. <laughs> I, I may or may not have been hoping that it was t Tony Hawk, but you know, like, whatever. Sorry. I say that because we have Black Plague Brewing with us. We have President Jordan Hoffman. We also have head brewer Eric. Welcome back, guys. Thank you Cheers. for having us. Sure. Oh, appreciate stoked it. stoked to have you back. Ooh. Cheers. So we've been pre-gaming with this nice little IPA. Mm -hmm. Digging it. Bring your Thank dad you. out. I love <laughs> this IPA. I remember when you guys first brought it on Beer for Breakfast. It's the beer that I get anytime I find myself up in Oceanside at your tasting room. It's just a fantastic beer. Thank, Thank you. you. Hell yeah. The well, hop profile is interesting. I get like a little <clears throat> pine, a little grapefruit, and then there's this fruitiness that just kind of kicks in, I'm guessing, from the Idaho 7. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's a huge charge of Idaho 7 in the Whirlpool and Dry Hop, which... Is probably weird. But it's also got Centennial, right? Which yeah. Which is one of my all-time favorites. Yeah, mm. I kind of wanted to do some like classic hops, so it's Centennial Chinook and then a huge charge of Idaho 7. So. It works. Yeah, it's it works. Super yeah, that's the best way to put it, it works. <laughs> yeah, we recently in the last few months decided to give it like a same hops, but kind of like a new new kick. So um, pretty much gave Eric the reins to see, like, see, see what you come up with and uh, definitely for the the better. It's um, absolutely just a lot, a lot more um, aroma. Just punches you right. This in dude's the face. cranking out some pretty good beers these hey, days. Hey, you know man. what? I'm not gonna say he's an <laughs> ace, but he's kind of an ace. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, no, I'm actually really excited with how the, um, I guess we'll call it the reformulation of Bring Out Your Dead turned out. Um, couldn't be happier. It's a lot cleaner now. It used to be kind of sweet. Mm -hmm. And my focus, I just really wanted to dry it out and kind of make it more like an IPA, and I think we were successful for sure. Hundred percent, yeah, hell yeah. It's uh, cool that you kind of had the like free reign to you know make small tweaks until you got where you wanted to be. Definitely, I mean, I think it took me performing at a level that you know was appropriate to oh, get yeah. that kind of responsibility first. Eric's proved himself that. I mean, you come in any day of the week and you look back there. I mean, Eric's tuned into podcasts, like brewing podcasts, like it's yeah. his business. So he's obviously had a clear passion for it since we got him on board. And uh, I know he, he cares about the beer just as much as the rest of us, if not more, just because, I mean, as a, as a brewer, uh, aspiring um, to create a legacy for himself, I'm sure, you know, um, you can just tell the passion he wants mm -hmm. to make it as, as best as possible. And you can't teach passion. You, you can't teach have passion. it or you don't, and he's got it. Well, yes. and from the outside perspective, um, it seems like you guys have a very good balance of, of fun and work. Because if we follow, follow, Bla follow Black Plague on social media, you will see some of the gnarliest stuff that will make HR's heart stop happening in the tasting room, like jumping over kegs, setting up rails. It's, it's so cool. And, you know, you'd almost think that a brewery that looks like they have that much fun, their product isn't going to be on par. And your guys' product is phenomenal also. Yeah, it's all a facade. I'm actually a dick. <laughs> <laughs> you're back there whipping your You're like, shh. Yeah. Now stop, opposite. now stop. We need to do this really cool yeah. video. Cameras are off. All right, get back to get work. Get back to work. So I think the last time we had you on the show, you had messed up ribs or something. Or you, uh, yeah. you had jacked yourself up. A super gnarly a... fall. Honestly, you kind of... Uh, yeah, Which I get time? a lot of those. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to tone it down a little bit, um, but um, I think the last time I came on, I maybe had just, I, f I think after the show, I found out I broke my back. Uh, it was my uh, L5. Like, uh, yeah, it wasn't like, it's not like it's like, oh, I broke my back, but it was like a crack in my vertebrae. And so, yeah, I found out. Jeez, uh, nothing, nothing was getting better, and I'm like, why am I not getting any better? Still once lifting upon time, kegs. Once right. upon a time, I had a co-worker who had a broken back, and he was a much bigger baby about a broken back than you're being like, eh, it's, just, it's just a fracture. <laughs> yeah. Uh, going into our second beer, Tony Hopps Birdhouse IPA. Uh, what's this name, Cheers. Master? Cheers. I don't know. Uh, some <laughs> guy who rides skateboards, like, like a native San Diegan, super right? Super iconic or? San Diegan. <laughs> Know. Kind of popular dude. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like, uh, you know, I feel like he's out of his prime, though. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Hi, Tony. <laughs> hey, long live Tony, man. He's still getting, nope, he's kidding. still riding. He's still, like, it, going all over the place. In reality, and, it's it's actually unbelievable that he's able to perform at a level that he does. And, I mean, he has literally nothing left to prove to anybody, mm -hmm. including Seriously. himself, I would think. But, I mean, he's still putting out video parts. He's still... 
uh, front running his board company, uh, Birdhouse, which is actually what the collaboration is with Tony Hobbs Birdhouse IPA. Mm -hmm. So, um, so how did this come about? I mean, obviously, there's there's the relationship yes, there, yes. but you know, how did? Um, so it was actually pretty pretty easy. I feel like, dude, where the hell is my beer? Not even. I actually kind of <laughs> I kind of approached him. Uh -huh. I was like, hey, uh, we want to do a beer with you, and. You know, um, punt being a dad and uh, having a dad sense of humor. I got the puns just integrated. <laughs> I know how some people feel about beer puns. Oh, I love puns. There's a never-ending uh, thing of beer puns, but uh, I was like, this one's just too good not to use. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, here, I just kind of laid it out. Like, what do you think? Tony Hops, are you in? And he was like, uh, yeah, cool. Like, let's do it. Um, you know, and he's like, well, he obviously wanted to be a part of the, um, you know, the brew day and, and understand like what went into all of it, which I really um, appreciated and you know, so he's more than just a name thrown so, on. Right. So yeah. um, you know, Eric um, was he into it? <clears throat> yeah. Like when he showed up, he was like, oh, he stayed the whole day. Yeah, yeah. he hung out for for hours and we ran him through all the hot profiles definitely. and what they're gonna bring the to match? the beer. <laughs> no, I didn't make him get any of the gains, but um, I let him dump some hops in, and he was he was pretty pumped. And I, I mean, just being able to be on a brew deck with Tony Hawk was kind of unbelievable. So that's really and it was on your bad. birthday. And yeah, it happened, oh! it happened to fall on my birthday. I totally birthday planned present. Like yeah. yeah. I remember seeing it like on the brew calendar and I just didn't say anything. I was like, no one's going to know. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, only that's for me and I'm not telling yeah, anyone. No. And then they do. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> you awesome. know, like I said, we walked him through all the hot profiles. And so he really like understood um, what was going on. And um, I, you know, between the two of them, uh, mm -hmm. I think they pretty much nailed it. So once so. again, it's super Good. hoppy. I mean, it's, it's but got not a, bitter. No, it's uh, no, so yeah. it's got a nice balance. Mm -hmm. I get some good dank in the nose, but then that's followed by some citrus. Yeah, um, absolutely. Um, again, following kind of the similar pattern of bring out your dead. Um, it's all late hops, um, not a whole lot um, like in the kettle. Um, two giant hop stands actually, so it's not even like a normal whirlpool I actually chill the wort down and then add the hops so it gives it that really nice like juicy hoppy quality but yeah without all the bitter right? so I'm seeing but, a lot of dudes are doing that now chilling the wort down to like 180 190 and then yep. just throwing in a boatload of hops yep and then backloading it that's the dry hop as well that's how you get all that beautiful hop flavor without so much the bitterness yeah exactly yeah. this and this is the first batch where we did 100% cryo on the uh, the back end the, on the dry hop yeah yeah, nice. so, yeah. Will this beer be available next week at your Baron's beer pair back 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 room beer pairing? Back at, yeah. at Baron's. <laughs> yes. Baron's back room All those beer bees. Yeah, you're with, cut with off. Black Plague. <laughs> I want to hear you say it. You say all those and get it out. Black Plague. And then throw Black Plague in the end. Yes. Uh, I might be worse than you. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. Long story short. Yes. Next Wednesday, January 22nd, every Barons will be doing their backroom beer pairing, and Black Plague is the brewery that is uh, focused on next next week. Exactly. I believe there's eight stores um, mm -hmm. that are doing it, and we'll beat the one at Rancho Bernardo. Nice. And it's what a six course meal? Uh, almost five. Five. Yeah. <laughs> Just about. Yeah. And every so, course with a beautiful IPA? Yes, we're yeah, doing actually, all IPAs for the event. Uh, this is uh, three of the five. Um, but um, I, I went in there uh, in November, and we, you know, put the whole menu together and made sure that, um, you know, tweaked any last-minute things, and it all tastes delicious. So super excited. Isn't that the funnest thing, though, working with a chef, going, okay, this beer has these flavors, so what can we, like, what kind of foods can complement or... 100%. I don't know, whatever, these flavors. Well, not even just that. Is this uh, event, 100% of the proceeds go to local schools. Yes, all of it. So this is all, this is for a good cause. You can get your oh tickets God, um, yeah. on Barron's website. Do you, I'm sure you guys have a link on your website? I would assume so. Yes, we do. And if we don't, then I'm going to make sure it happens. Uh -oh. today. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be there. Promise. Follow the link. Yeah, but being a father with two boys in high school and in elementary school, it uh, you know, definitely hits home for me. Me. So yeah. uh, I know uh, the PTA and all the teachers need um, all the help they can get they from the communities, do. and uh, I'm super stoked to be able to support that. Yeah. Sidebar: yes. Are your kids into skating? Um. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's, that's, <laughs> that, that was a little bit of no a hesitation. Pressure. Yeah. Well, uh, my eldest is actually 16, and so he just, you know, he's he's got a serious girlfriend. I'd like to think so. He's. He's into what she's into. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> my 
my times have changed because when I was that age, it was like all about the dudes who skated. Like, oh, yeah, like we were at the corner of the skate park getting handshakes and high fives, and I was like, man. I spent many, many years hanging out <laughs> yeah. at the skate park. Couldn't skate, but just checking out dudes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, he's definitely into skating. All his friends are into skating. Um, but, you know, for me, I have a skewed uh, vision of into skating because I started skating when I was five. Mm -hmm. And, like, something clicked in me, like, then. So for me to be into skating, it's, like, 100%. Nothing yeah. else matters. All in. Like, yeah. And he's like, eh, it's a hobby. So he's like, yeah, I, I like skating, but he likes to do other stuff too. <laughs> and then my youngest is five, so he likes skating. He's more into like the handboarding and uh, no pressure from here, you know, just do, make sure you're passionate. It's all about the passion, so. There it is, yes. Yeah. That's yeah. rad. I mean, yeah. I mean, I think if you push too hard, it, it pushes them away. Totally. It kind of alienates them, so. Yeah, totally. You gotta so be careful. I, I'm gonna let them, you know, <clears throat> you know, figure out what they're really into and I'll just harness that and. That's yeah. Do they know how Maybe cool their dad is? That's uh, my question. Does anybody know how cool their dad is? No. Uh, I, mean, I know. I know. I know. Your yes. daughters don't think you're very cool, but like, I think you're. Sweet. I think you're cool. I think you're sweet. Well, well. thank yeah. you guys. <laughs> hey, flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> Eric, so what do we, we don't care that you think your dad's cool. <laughs> my dad rocks. It's for you, dad. There you go. Hazy. Well, it's parents. You know they're watching. Hazy scandal. Your guys' is hazy IPA. It's certainly a hazy. It is hazy. Yeah, but it's not a yeast bomb. Uh, no, no, Sarah. Thank you for no, that. And there's no lactose. <laughs> no. Okay, mm. so it's mm. not a pastry. You guys aren't pastry boys. No, no. no. Well, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> can, can actually, actually, can we can we talk about that for like just for sure. a second? Yeah. Like what the? Because I didn't. I didn't know that lactose was going into hazy IPAs, and then I hear about <clears throat> these pastry boys. Can you guys break it down for me? What's going on? We just brewed a pastry boy. I kind of missed the question. I was coughing off camera, but well, um, <clears throat> we just did I a apologize. collaboration over at Cre uh, Creative Creature. Okay. And uh, we did a Shut huge. Shut up, Ryan. That's the yeah. That's the right. And player. Derek. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the right and uh, we did a huge Imperial Stout and uh, oh, yeah. massive Eric, Imperial take it Stout. Away. Um, yeah. Gosh, I can't remember right now what the starting gravity came in, but it was. Got an outrageous amount. We're like at around fourteen um, percent right now. Yeah, that's what we're looking at. So when I hear pastry boy, I I think of stouts. I think of those right. kinds of like dark sweet beers. Can you be a pastry boy and make a hazy IPA? So by putting like lactose so, yeah. late in or back sweetening it after fermentation or whatever, like you know, I don't know. Which I one of you is doing that? Pastry IPA. Pastry IPA. Is that Milkshake a thing? Is that legit? Milkshake IPA? Isn't that that? Right. Milkshake no. IPA? Okay, so I think you're right. Isn't that Milkshake that? Milkshake IPA. It's yeah. got to be milkshake IPAs. What else? Yeah. All so right. I would say yes. You brewers, um, answer our questions in the comments right now, please. <laughs> I, I feel like we should know this one. <laughs> 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 I'm looking at Paul. <laughs> I'm going to go and no. I, I yield. I say, you know, the pastry boys are mostly the stouts and stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Not so much IPAs, but I think okay. you're right. Milkshake IPA is. I think that's telling the line, you're right? Throwing, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. You're throwing a little lactose or something in the finish there to kind of sweeten it up. Definitely. Yeah, we know we know a lot of brewers that are using lactose. We just, uh, I think it's personal preference. Mm -hmm. We just don't really feel the need to put lactose in their hazy. So. I like um, that this doesn't make my mouth do that like weird like. That oh. sometimes happens with hazies. With hazies you yeah. Know? yeah. There's a time and a place. It's never my time or place, but you know. yeah, my experience that's about kind of getting your water right. Um, so you're right. Water, yeah, water. One of the things that we never we really talk talked about, about, water, about, about water. water quality when it comes to beer. It is important, mm -hmm. in, in, especially in hazies. It can definitely play a big role. Yep. Really? Kind of could mm -hmm. kind of make or break it, in yep. my opinion. Hmm. And yeast preference. Definitely. So, wait, so I, throwing in like, you know, making sure you get that London 3 rocking or actually if you choose the right yeast that doesn't attenuate, then it leaves some residual sugar, then mm -hmm. you don't have to throw lactose in there. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, so that's, if you're using something other than Chico. Do you guys use reverse osmosis for, for, we for do water? Actually you don't guys don't? Know. What do you guys do? We should, don't as well. You don't either. Mm -hmm. So do you guys, is it just the, the good old San Diego County water? So or? no, we, we Like what happens? Like this, uh, we're dumbing it down here, guys. We're dumbing it San down. San Diego water's got it. a lot of chlorine. It's good mineral content, which is great it's, yeast yeah. nutrient, but you got, it's got a lot of chlorine as well, so you want to scrub that out. So usually uh, activated carbon filtration yep. yeah. is required just to get that chlorine-like nastiness out of there. Oh, throw man. Throw a couple sediment filters in there. 
Yeah. I can't wait for our water conversation that we're going to have at lunch today. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting into this. I will not bore the rest of you with all my water questions. However, I will have an update next week about everything that I've learned about water. There you go. It's important. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's, it's understated, but it's massively um, important. Very important. Product. So I'm a fan of you guys. And I got to say, I mean, I think it's good to see you guys, I don't know, maybe... For, for lack of other words, hitting your stride right now. Mm -hmm. It seems like, like you guys are legs. really just kind of, yeah. You guys are off and running, man. You guys are killing it right now. It's, it's so been wild. Dude, as someone who lives in North Park, I'm just saying I can't wait until more of your beer comes down south because we'd, lo we'd love you down here. We'd love huh. you down here. Oceanside is great. But I'm just saying, mm. if, you ever find <laughs> if you ever find yourself, you know, down past the 52, uh, you've got a regular... At your bar. I love it. I appreciate it big time because we kind of feel a little like uh, secluded and maybe excluded just being up in North County uh, in the Tri-City area. Um, we're kind of in between um, Vista and Oceanside, even though we're technically Oceanside. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have a little bit of an identity crisis going on back there, but uh, we have a huge, uh, loyal customer base that's around us and have mm -hmm. supported us since the beginning. and. It uh, seems to be growing, and everyone's really excited about all the uh, things we have going well, on. Well, yeah, so. your distribution is great. I, I do appreciate <laughs> that. Is I can find your cans pretty much anywhere. Shout out Carl Strauss. You distributing? <laughs> <laughs> perhaps other states? Um, yeah, yeah, it's it's happening. Uh, we are moving to Arizona. Yeah. Hey, uh, expanding our territory expanding. in Arizona. We're not I'm moving like, anywhere. No, I was like, don't <laughs> leave us. Yeah, don't leave no. us. Uh, we're expanding our distribution footprint into uh, Arizona, which is great because um, uh, one of my good friends, uh, Aaron Jaws Hamoki, another um, professional skateboarder. Uh, I like how you just drop these names. I like, <laughs> <laughs> try to be, do. Try to be subtle about it. <laughs> but he lives, uh, you know, he lives in Phoenix, and he also rides for Tony's board company, um, Birdhouse. So we'll have really awesome representation out there, and uh, we're gonna make it out for uh, Arizona a Strong Ale Festival in Ooh, early uh, cool. February. So that will cool. be like the I'm big, the that. big launch, and we're all super excited for that. So. Very cool. Well, Jordan, Eric, thank you guys so much for coming back. Um, I think this is our third beer for breakfast together, and it's just been so fun seeing you guys grow and expand and all of that, and just continue to pump out really amazing beer. Thank you for everything you do for Beer's seeing truly you. Beer's delicious. Hey, Thank appreciate you guys. it. That's Community. number one. Yes. Yes. Continued yeah, success to you guys. Thank you. Uh, so bring out your dead IPA, Tony Hops Birdhouse IPA, and Hazy Scandal Hazy IPA. As you can see, these are all canned. You can find them in your better bottle shops. Uh, you know what? Swing by the tasting room. Nope, just open another one. Just grab another, a, another one. another one. Grab well, another are. one. Do it. Tony Hawk. That's delicious. All right. Uh, remember, next Wednesday at Barron's, the beer pairing uh, that's going on, you can get those tickets at barronsmarketing.com. You can also find that over at Black Plague's website. Friday morning, Paul Segura will be on Beer for Breakfast. What with, am I going to uh, talk about this week? Uh, dude, we're, we're talking Black Plague. I have a, I have a sneaky suspicion <laughs> that my morning show partner, Marty, has not gotten the chance to um, try your delicious beer. So I'm super... You gonna oh, he's, he's going to do it? He's going to Now's the time. Yeah, totally. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so, so much. You can find previous episodes of Beer for Breakfast, ABV, at 91x.com. And cheers to independently owned radio and craft beer in San Diego. Yeah, amen. Cheers. 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 Yeah. Cheers. Get in it. Oh. Can he do it? Oh, no, he can't. Uh -uh. <laughs> 91X.